This is Jason Adams with CRAC Ordnance. I'm going to do a video installation of our gas piston system. The tools required for the install are an inch pound torque wrench with a 764 driver, 764 Allen. The tools are not included with the piston kit. The parts that are are a gas block for the installation. I've removed the gas plug gas plug, gas plug allen, piston drive rod, rod spring, and bolt carrier. Of course for the installation I've got an upper receiver without a gas block, front side assembly, and barrel nut installed to the proper spec. I've removed the charging handle for the installation. I'm going to slide the gas block onto the barrel the set screws are loose so that the gas block will slide freely onto the barrel. I'm going to push it all the way back until it hits the shoulder on the barrel. And then visually align the center of the gas block to the upper receiver. I'm going to install the piston drive rod without the spring. Install the gas plug. Use the gas plug allen to screw the plug in until it stops. Does not need to be tight. I'm going to slide the carrier into the receiver, sliding it forward slowly until it stops. And as I hold on to the barrel, make sure it doesn't, the receiver doesn't slide forward, I'm going to push on the back of the carrier until it stops. The front of the carrier should be up against the barrel extension. You cannot push it in any further. If you notice, the rod will push the gas block off of the shoulder. That is a set position of where you need to set the gas block off of the barrel shoulder. I'm going to lightly snug down the center set screw the gas block with the Allen. As I'm pushing on the back of the carrier I'm going to try to move the rod forward and back making sure that there isn't any play of the rod moving forward and back which there isn't. I'm going to use the rod to push the carrier back. Then as I move the rod forward and back, I'm going to rotate it 360 degrees, making sure that the rod moves freely forward and back, that it's not binding, as this one isn't. I'm going to recheck the alignment of the block. Looks good. I'm going to snug down the front set screw, snug down the back set screw, then I'm going to use my torque wrench and tighten it, the center screw, to 30 inch pounds as I move to the, full, the front set screw. And the back set screw. You don't want to exceed 32 inch pounds. I'm going to use a gas plug Allen to unscrew the plug about 180 degrees until it detents into position. The front of the plug has a slot on it. You want to make sure the broken out section of the slot is pointed at 6 o'clock directly in line with the adjustment screw. You're going to push on the back of the carrier making sure the front of the carrier is up against the barrel extension. Continuously do this while you check to make sure that there is forward and back play in the piston rod. 
moving the rod back and forth, making sure that we do have a slight amount of play. Going to remove the plug from the block. Remove the piston rod. Going to slide the rod spring onto the rod. Reinstall the rod with the spring into the block. Screw the plug back into the block. Until the plug stops. Now I'm going to unscrew it until it detents into position and the broken out slot is pointed at 6 o'clock. This completes the insulation.